Hello, my name is Curtis Daly. You can follow me at Twitter at Curtis Daly underscore. Today I want to talk about the media, more specifically GB News, which is an upcoming channel founded by former BBC News big hitter Andrew Neil. You know, the guy who couldn't get an interview with the uh, Prime Minister during the 2019 general election. They aim to provide a voice for those who have been sidelined by the mainstream media. To get a flavour of what we can expect, The Guardian described them as the British Fox News, funded by no other than Rupert Murdoch and hedge fund manager Sir Paul Marshall and also a Dubai-based group called Legatum. They styled themselves as anti-woke and anti-establishment, despite being funded by the biggest media mogul in the world, there's anything but. But what sort of content can we expect from them? And what sort of voices will they represent? I think it's safe to assume that they won't be any way antagonistic to the billionaire class. Furthermore, do we really need to hear from the anti-woke brigades? Uh, most of the voices in our media are currently from white wealthy conservatives who forever push culture wars, austerity, and the idea of working class as white men, an outdated pub who are a little bit racist. This channel will continue to sing from the same hymn sheet as our legacy media. So expect to hear voices from people who sympathise with the likes of Lawrence Fox, who unironically claim that his views are always silenced, despite invitations from the BBC and a never-ending media attention. Now we know that most of our media are pretty right-wing, with the only counterbalances from the liberal press, such as The Guardian and The Mirror. So the last thing we need is an organisation which won't realistically contribute to the debate, that won't talk about the great crises we face, such as automation, inequality, in the climate catastrophe. So what do we know about Andrew Neil? Well, we know he was gifted the editor at the Sunday Times by Rupert Murdoch himself, who many claim that actually there were other more experienced colleagues to take the role. This is a man who considers himself to be to the right of Thatcher, uh, a climate sceptic, and under his editorial at the Sunday Times published the idea that heterosexual AIDS was a myth. In fact, in his 1996 book Full Disclosure, Neil wrote that HIV AIDS denialism deserved publication to encourage debate. He also remarked that AIDS had become an industry, a job creation scheme for the caring classes, a truly reprehensible man. This isn't a serious organisation, but it could have serious consequences on our already defunct media. Luckily, you can help by supporting media that isn't backed by corporate interest and who isn't afraid to take on the powerful. We're living in unprecedented times, so it's important that the left media grows. So if you enjoyed this content, why not give this video a like, drop a comment, and share it. And remember to subscribe to Turn Left, because we need an independent media for independent voices.